of fallen leaves tell a story. The great Elden Ring was shattered. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, America's offspring, demigods all, claimed the Shah of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the elder and become the Elden Lord. Hi, welcome, welcome to Elden Ring. It's the, the time has finally come. I'm so happy and I'm so glad, I'm super excited to play the game. Oh, Jesus. Um, it's just, I was waiting for this so long. And now the time's finally here. The intro was really good. It was such a cool intro. And it was so much different than the intros that uh, we know from the Dark Souls games. Because here we had just the, little, not just, but here we had like paintings, um, drawn things. and. I liked it. They were super nice. Okay, I th I, so we have a character. We already did our character in episode zero. If you want to watch that, then um, go to the playlist and you can, can do that. 
hold on a second. I think we need to, I mean, let's play a little bit, but it's not X that we interact with things, so I don't know if this is gonna... This is gonna confuse me. Are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so R1 is the normal attack, R2 is the heavier attack. And then, obviously, L1 is blocking. Then we can parry. Oh, okay, so with triangle, I can switch between... No, huh? Okay, we have a dodge roll. How can I do... Okay, so with um, square, I'm using my item. can jump. When I was pressing X and jumping the first time, I didn't even realize it. A tarnished wizened finger. Oh, we have a map. Okay, with the map menu, you can check your current position and terrain and buildings in the surrounding area. You can also freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Lastly, through your map, you can select any side of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. Oh, wow. I is this night time? We have it night and day rhythm? Oh, my God. Look at the... Look at the... Um, the clock at the bottom... Right, that looks beautiful. Okay, options is the menu. So we have equipment, equipment menu. With the equipment menu, you can equip um, armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. You can equip up to three um, armaments each to your left and right hand. So like um, bows, arrows, uh, bows, normal weapons, shields, stuff like that. Um, the actions each marmen performs will vary based on which hand is yielded. It okay. So we don't have anything else. So that's all we have. And this is the crimson ember medallion that we that we have. Switch view. This is this. Do we have a... Maybe here, inventory? Inventory uh, menu. With the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying. Drop them on the ground or throw them away. Oh, so we don't have to carry around all this stuff. This is amazing. You can also use tools from the inventory menu. Show large image and explanation and toggle character data. Okay, this is what we just did. Okay, this is what I wanted. Memory of Grace. Lose all runes to turn to last side of Lost Grace visited. Okay, I see. The memory of the first Grace, which once guided beyond a uh, bygone tarnished to the lands between. Lose all runes and return to last side of Grace visited. It is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. Yeah, this is the finger that we just picked up. For online play only can also be used from the messages menu, used to write messages. Your messages will be conveyed to other worlds, allowing other players to read them. A finger of corpse wax so emaciated, the bone is visible. It is a relic of those who came before, left to help those, those who would come after. Do we have anything else? No, we don't have any keys. Maybe we can read the um, battle axe description. A thick, heavy blade attached to a handle, a versatile standard weapon. Capable of powerful attacks thanks to the weighty blade, these weapons are also regarded for their powerful charge attacks. The skill is wi wild strikes. String... Um, this is a weird word, I've never heard this before. Armament. I think it's how it's spelled, I'm not sure. Um, 
With wild abandon, hold to continue swinging can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. Okay. A round shield covered in leather on the larger side for a medium-sized shield. Though its damage ne negotiate negation sorry, may be lacking compared to a metal shield, it can handle a wider range of attack affinities. Ah, here we see the... Okay, so... It gives us 85% damage negation, which is good for the beginning. This is fine. And the skill is the parry that we already did. Use the skill in time with a foe's melee attack to deflect it and break that foe's stats. This provides an opening to perform a critical hit. A headband reserved for the Badlands Bravest proof that the wearer has slaughtered countless foes. Mm -hmm. Following the example of the chieftain... Oh, I heard the name. Horror Lou. I think this is how it pro was pronounced in the intro. The brave warriors of the Badlands shun excess adornment. Pauldron reserved for the Badlands bravest, and so on and so on. It's the same. Okay, here. A medallion with crimson amber inlaid boosts maximum HP. The earth tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. A primordial life energy resides inside. Oh, this is our status. With the status menu you can check your level, attributes, bait stats and more. The information shown here also reflects changes to your attack, defense and resistances bestowed by your Mormons and armor that you have equipped. Okay. Multiplayer. With the multiplayer menu, you can use various multiplayer items. If you set a group passport, you'll be and so on. But I, I'm probably going to change in the next episode to the offline mode, if, if this is possible. We, we can do it already. Ah, uh, look here. Ah, okay, so we can't put it on X because X is jumping and I think I would like to leave X on jumping because it's just a normal control that I'm used to. Okay. Okay, I have to look up how to disable the online thing. I know a lot of you will probably like to see that. Okay, pouch. What does pouch mean? Okay, so when we press up, we probably use this, the memory of grace. And then we have the gestures that we can use with the controller, but it never really works with the, um, the movement controlling for me. Okay, let's just stick with this. What does that say? Read the message. How di how did they die in here? Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. I'll try. Distracted Elden Ring. Are you ready? Okay. So the other thing that I would like not to do is to read too many messages because often, as I know from other games, they can spoil you a little bit of what's coming and I'd rather not do this. Because I, I kind of want to explore this myself and that's also the reason why I'm not going to use the online function. Oh god, here we go. It just looks so beautiful. Chapel of Anticipation. Oh god. <laughs> Anticipity. Antipis anti Jesus Christ, I can't say the word. An anticipate is the word. Anticipation. Sounds wrong, but I think it's right. <laughs> so I'm not gonna touch these blood stains. Are 
I doubt that I will survive that, so... Uh, oh, oh! I didn't see that! How did I miss that? Look at this! <gasps> and I could... Oh my god, I can also look very far up, which is amazing. <gasps> this must be the... Oh, what was it called? The L tree or something? Where's the medallion? The earth tree. Or Erd tree, I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, so now we get a little tutorial. Our uh, camera controls, which we already figured out. Oh my god, guys, it's time to die. It is time to die. And before we, um, before I record the next episode, I will also see if I can adjust the brightness a little bit, but I doubt it since we already, as you saw in the in video zero, it is already on the highest brightness, so we can't make it even brighter. How can I run? Okay. Same as usual. Okay. It is so... It is great, by the way, that um, we don't have the interface all the time. It is also very unusual. So it's really strange not to see how many... I don't know. Do we even have a healing item yet? Oh my god, this is so beautiful. This looks dangerous. There's already a fog wall. I haven't figured out yet how to two-hand my weapon. Ah, so if I press triangle long, I can see my pouch. Okay, hold on a second. Let's go to equipment. Okay, so I think this makes more sense to me. Oh yeah, I need to remember, I need to remember that we can jump. Because now we can get over like things that were impossible to get over in Dark Souls. So now we have way more possibilities to... Huh! Oh god! Oh, I knew it. Shit. He's strong. I have nothing... Oh my god. That was quick! <laughs> I'm already dead! What's happening? I assume I probably had to die, but um, I wish it wouldn't wouldn't have been that quick. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm playing on the PlayStation Four, so it could be that the loading screens are a little bit longer than you probably used to from other videos, because I think most of the people are playing it on. PlayStation 5. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. You didn't have to wait too long. My death was swift. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. 
even if it does violate the Golden Order. That's the Golden Order. Like a little earth tree. Ah, look at this. The flask of crimson tears. And the flask of cerulean tears, which I guess is more the FP. Um, okay, we have both equipped. Restores HP and restores FP. Oh no! Didn't mean to do that. I. <laughs> um. Okay, I wanted to read that actually. A sacred flask modeled after a golden holy chalice that once was graced by a tear of blessing. Filled with crimson tears, this flask restores HP with hues. Rest at a side of grace to replenish. The one washed up on the gravesite was sure to die until this flask offered its gift to rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring. Okay, that's the same, but for FP. Okay. Oh god. Did I just jump in there? I didn't mean to do that. It's really dark. <laughs> jump down the hole ahead and you'll find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about game controls and basic actions as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures in the lands between. No, I got Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Who are you? Oh, okay, he's telling me that I can take the plunge. Of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. I'm just reading it out loud because he doesn't really say anything. Okay. I'm gonna do the same as in every Souls game so far. I'm gonna really exhaust every... Um... Every dialogue. It is really dark. But again, it's already on, on maximum brightness, so... Ah, okay. I for some reason thought we're getting back to um, the start area, but we don't. Another question I have, um, I mean, don't answer it because I want to find out myself, but if there are any invisible walls, what the hell is that? Touch grace, what will happen when I do that? Oh, it's a bonfire. Oh, nice. I see, okay. I can pass time. Okay, so maybe if sometimes, I, I'm just speculating here. I wonder if sometimes you have to do certain things during the night time or during the daytime, and then when you have the wrong time of the day, you can sit, just sit at a bonfire um, and pass time so that it changes the time of the day. It's pretty cool. Flasks. Add charge to flask. Increase amount replenished by flask. Allocate flask charges. With this menu, you can allocate the number of users in each of your flasks. You have a set of. Oh. You have a set total of maximum flask users. You can decide how many of those used are for the HP replenishing flask of Crimson Tears and how many are for the FP replenishing flask of Cerulean Tears. Um, as is the same as in Dark Souls 3, but here they finally explain this to you. Use one golden seed. Oh, damn it! We should have taken the golden seed in the beginning. I don't have one. Damn it. 
It would have been great. Use a sacred tier to increase the amount. We also don't have that. Okay, so we need sacred tiers to increase the amount replenished by flowers, and we need a golden seed to increase the number of essence fl uh, of flowers that we have. Sorry. A memorized spell. So here we can, yeah, sorceries and spells. You must have a staff equipped, um, casting sorceries and um, incantations, consumes FP, and so on. Sword chest. With this menu, you can place items that you're carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. If you are already carrying the maximum number of items when you pick up a new item, it will be restored at the chest automatically. Okay, that's cool. But it's cool that we have a, um, a chest from the beginning. It's really cool. Okay, so what do we have here? Why is that... Why is that foggy? Examine. Oh my god, all these like cool items and we didn't pick one of them. <laughs> oh, damn it. What? Ah, so because I got a, a finger severed and then something else. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the boss, the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. Yeah, okay, so this is the finger severer. Sorry, I think this will happen a lot in the beginning. And the tarnished furled finger. I wonder how essential or necessary um, online multiplayer gaming is. So the next question is, if there is, or if we have um, invisible walls, how do we open them? Place the message and then the secret passage ahead. There's no secret passage. That's why I don't read these messages. <laughs> or again, I have haven't figured out yet how to um, use or how to open um, the messages, uh, the, the illusionary wall. Sorry. We should probably send it back down. Can we can we hear um, footsteps or is it the fire next to us? Holy shit. Limb grave. I see things there, there. I must admit, I'm a. L oh god. Sorry, I must admit, <laughs> I'm a little bit intimidated by the open world um, theme of this game. But since we have a map, this was the map, right? Yeah. Since we have a map, um, I think it's okay. Is it possible that we are at a completely different place or area of the map now? I wonder if we can ever go back to the first boss that we didn't defeat. <sighs> Guys, I'm pumped. I'm absolutely pumped for this game. But I would also say that we continue in the next episode. Um, I want to keep them in, I guess, half an hour length. I know that's, that means that I'm going to upload a lot of videos. But um, it's just a very convenient length for me, to be honest. Um, I, I really hope you, you enjoyed it. Um, I, I honestly did. I love it already. Again, I'm a little bit intimidated, but I'm hopeful that we can do this. And um, we're going to continue into this new 
world in the next episode. Until then, take care, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.